Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we discussed that aggregation scope depends on two factors, the selections and dimension value. We learned how to use total qualifier to redefine the dimension value. Today we will see how we can use set analysis for the selection. If you want to know more about set analysis then I strongly recommend you to watch my video number 17 and 18. So we will directly jump into the use case of set analysis here to redefine the aggregation score. In last video we learned how to get percentage contribution of a year. We also seen that if I will select 2019 and 2020 then we are getting total sales is 39.8 million instead of 71 million because according to the aggregation scope aggregation function is also considering the selections but consider that the use case where we need 2019 and 2020 contribution towards the total sales irrespective of selections so even though i select 2019 or 2020 it should show me 23.5 percent and 31.8 percent i will show you the example here so even though if i select 2019 or 2020 i should get the same result here so how to achieve this? The thing is that total qualifier is disregarding the dimension value but at the same time it will also consider the selections. So the second factor of aggregation scope which is the selections. We need to freeze the selections. We need to ignore the selections. To do that we need to use set analysis. So I will copy this table and I will replace this table here. And I will show you how we can get the same 71.9 million here even after selecting 2019 and 2020. So to do that you have to use set identifier 1. Set analysis and set identifier you can learn more from my video number 17 and 18. So here by mentioning 1 inside the curly bracket we are now ignoring all the selections and now you can see we are getting 71 million here and our total sales will be same as per our requirement 23.5 and 31.84 so even if you now select any year or not you will still get the same result 36.24 and 31.84. The same way we can implement in next example here. So here we have to ignore the selections by so I will duplicate this expression and here I will say total and one as set identifier and I can say here sum of sales divided by sum of total sales but we need group by order here so by using the proper number format we can achieve the same and here also I have to use order here. Now you can see we are getting the output as per the last two columns. So hope you have now clear idea how to redefine aggregation scope by using set analysis, a total qualifier and combination of both. If you like my video please do subscribe my channel. We will come back with another topic on click. Till then, thanks and have a good day.